Hey guys, this is Mrs. Baker. And this is Mrs. Greenberg. And this is the first video that you're going to be watching in your self-directed study. So you should have your packets out on page one. So you can go ahead and take notes along with us. And you'll be doing that for those other videos as well. Also have your periodic table at the ready too, if not. Oh, absolutely. All right. So um, in terms of naming all of these different kinds of compounds and writing the formulas for all the different types of compounds, the first thing we need to be able to do is understand that there's how many different types of compounds? Oh, man, there's three. Three. So why do we have to know if, the, what, if they're different types of compounds? Well, it turns out that each type of compound has its own rules for naming and writing formulas. That's ridiculous. Who came up with this? Anyway, it <laughs> doesn't matter who came up with it. But so I get the purpose of this video then, guys, is for you to understand how to recognize the three different types of compounds. And then your future videos will tell you how to do the name to formula and formula to name. So you'll notice right here on the on our screen, which is in your packet, we've given you both the name and formula of, I don't know, eight or 10 different compounds. All right. Go ahead and start Mrs. Greenberg. What's our first type of compound? Our first type of compound are going to be ionic compounds. Okay. And maybe you're hearing the term ion in ionic. Come back here. There it is. And so I hope that you're thinking about last unit where we, we finished up with ions. And so ionic compounds are going to have metal ions bonded to a non-metal Ion. And I think those even have special names. Wasn't one isn't one of them a cation? Cation, you want to go somewhere? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. A cat ion. Oh, so one right. of them was a cat ion. And so maybe you remember that cats have paws. So they're positive. So just as a reminder there. And so your other type is an anion, the negatively charged ion. Okay, so if ionic compounds start with a metal cation and end with a non-metal anion, then when we look up at that list above, we could probably be able to figure out you know, which ones are the ionics. So I'm going to start with the formulas because I think that might be a little bit easier. So when I look at that first one, Li3N, I need to find lithium on the periodic table, which is, um, it's one of those alkali metals, so I know that's a metal. And then nitrogen is to the right of the staircase, which is a non-metal. So I now know that lithium nitride, because it's a metal with a non-metal, is an ionic compound. Awesome. And I think there's some others here too, looking at formulas. This one looks rather complicated and you'll see that in a future video, but I do see aluminum, which definitely is a metal. It's on the left of your staircase. Carbon and oxygen are both to the right, making them non-metals. So that's going to be an ionic compound. Okay. Why did you skip over the N2Br6? Oh, you know, I skipped over that one because nitrogen is a non-metal. Bromine, also a non-metal. So that's not really following our pattern here for ionic. Okay, okay. so we got to check all those out. So then if True. I go to the next one, Fe, if I find that, that's iron, which is a metal. Sulfur is a non-metal. Now guys, remember Mrs. Greenberg and I were more familiar with the periodic table than you guys are, so we can recognize more quickly metals versus non-metals. If it takes you longer because you have to find them, that makes sense, but you'll get quicker at it as we go on. That's just all right. Practice makes better. If there are any so, others, I, um, I think we see, see one more. I Hydrogen's a non-metal. Hydrogen's a non-metal. Oh, calcium is a metal. Yeah. And then iodine is a non-metal. Okay. Go and ahead and finish them off. It looks like non-metals. Not, here's one with a metal and a non-metal. Magnesium's your alkaline earth. And chlorine, mm -hmm. that non-metal, is a halogen. Awesome. So it's really easy, guys, to do it when you have the formulas, but you're also going to need, need to be able to do it with the names. So notice this first one starts with lithium, and lithium we know is a metal. Now, we don't have, I can't find nitrite on the periodic table. So why, how do I know that's a non-metal? I hope you're hearing nitre, like nitrogen, same root word. So let's use that as a context clue to know. Oh, okay. So nitride is kind of like nitrogen, non-metal. Awesome. Yeah. And again, just really quickly, this one's aluminum and the word carbon is in there, which is a non-metal. What the heck is that Roman numeral? Oh, we're going to get to that in a future video.
Can I just ignore it for now? I think we should highlight it because it is part of its name. It is okay. totally necessary to have. Okay. But what it is, we'll see in our future ionic okay. video. And again, it's not sulfurs on the periodic table, so sulfide, right. calcium, and iodine is like iodide. And then magnesium, and then that chlor for chlorine. Awesome. So the way we find ionic compounds is we look for the metal first, the non-metal second, whether it's a formula or a name. Yeah, I hope we noticed that too. It's always the metal first and then the non-metal second. Oh, we can't do it either way? No, we can't. Okay, rules metal first. Rules. rules are rules. Awesome. Let's go to the next one then. All right. We have what are called molecular covalent compounds. So you might see both terms used interchangeably. That's when we have two non-metals bonded together. And that's just it. Only non-metals are found in this example. Can I use blue for this one? Let's go. Let's use a blue. Okay. So if, and remember, yeah, like some teachers will call it molecular compound, some covalent. And like me, I say one, sometimes one, sometimes the other. Yeah. So if I'm looking for two non-metals, okay, night, and I'm going to start with the formula, nitrogen's a non-metal, bromine's a non-metal. That looks good. Wait, when I look at the name, though, what the heck's that dye in front of the nitrogen? Well, you know, you'll uh, learn that in a future video, but it is telling you the number of atoms. Okay. All right. So nitrogen and bromine. Okay. Right. So again, whether or not I have that, um, you know, the formula or the name. Just awesome. Looking at All right. That root word. Why don't you go find one? I think. Now, I'm not going to highlight phosphoric acid because it has the name acid in it. I see that they're non-metals, but we've got a third type in just a minute. So I'm not going <laughs> to highlight that. it's called that. an acid. Because it's called an acid. Uh, okay. All right. But here, carbon certainly is a non-metal. Same with the oxygen. I might see that in the formula, certainly. And then you could also find the name on your periodic table. Okay. So when we say molecular comp co molecular covalent compounds are non-metal or non-metal, notice that hydrogen, he's kind of the black sheep of the family anyway, because he lives over on the metal side. Right. So he's not going to count in the molecular covalence. Right. Okay. So I bet you that, yeah, I know they can see their page already, but the last kind of compound is an acid or yeah. an acidic compound. So let's do that in green. Ooh. All right. And okay. what makes an acid an acid is that it does have that hydrogen listed first. That's how you're going to tell. But you might also see it in the name that it has the word acid in it. So that's, <laughs> that's easy nice by name. Exactly. Hey, I'm going to do these really quick. I know this one's, hey, come back here. I know that go. one's an acid and I know that one's an acid and I know that one's an acid because the name, the name has acid. Exactly. So it's when we're looking at the formula where you need to look for that key there that she said that hydrogen has to be first. Right. Okay. So. So seeing this here in all our formulas, H first is our context clue to know. And it's okay that if there's three hydrogens in that first one? Yeah, that's totally all right. So well, those subscripts we're going to learn about later, right? Absolutely, in our okay. ACID video. Great. So guys, what you need to do now is you need to go take that Learning Central quiz that deals with identifying types of compounds. You need, and you can take it as many times as you need to, You're going, but you need to get 100% before you move on. So we've got ionic compounds, which consist of that metal with the non-metal, Moleculars with two nonmetals, but not hydrogen. And then our acids, where the name ends in acid or the formula, the hydrogens first. Yay! We did it! Stop sharing, Mrs. Greenberg. <laughs>